I'm Rocky Carson. In this lesson, we'll be going over advanced lob serves. The main reason for these serves is to make it more difficult for your opponent to cut off this serve and kill it. With the lob nick, our goal is to get our opponent to cut the ball off deep after the ball comes off the side wall. If we execute this right, it will be hard for our opponent to cut that ball off right before the back wall. My goal is to find a target on the front wall which will help me execute the bounce off the side wall about four to five feet from the back wall. The ball there will then die in the back corner. Next we have the lob Z to the forehand. What I like about this serve is that it floats away from your opponent as he's coming in to cut it off. It then allows you to capture center court as well as if he's going to try to cut it off you can bounce the ball short in front of the encroachment line which forces him to cut the ball off at a higher contact point that will make it harder for him to kill the ball next we have the lob Z to the backhand this serve is much like the lob Z to the forehand. It works best when we use our backhand to serve it. It allows us to get closer to the center court after we serve it, but just like the forehand lob Z, the ball floats away from your opponent as they come and try to cut it off. Lastly, if they don't cut it off, your goal is to have that ball dying deep in the back corner. And last, the half lob. On this serve, I have two goals. First, to get my opponent to rush their shot if they're going to try to cut it off. Second, to get them hitting at a higher contact point by getting the ball to bounce just beyond the short line. This should make it hard for your opponent to kill the ball. 